Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk to you about what I think are probably two of the best deals in a, a quality saltwater fly reel that are available on the secondary market today. Uh, the two models I'm referring to are the Scientific Angler System 2, and they go in sizes from 7, 8, all the way up to 12, 13. And then the next is the Worldwide Sportsman, uh, gold cup fly reels. It comes in two models, the three, which is an eight, nine weight reel and the four, which is a 10, 11 weight reel. The reason I say they're such good, uh, buys on the secondary market is the price and value ratio. The price of both of these reels is under $100, and for the System 2s, the, there's three, roughly three generations. There's the first generation, which I don't have here. Here's the second generation and the third generation. The third generation is probably the least desirable. It's still a quality reel. It'll still get the job done. Um, but as you can see, it, it looks a little more cheaply made. It doesn't have a attached counterweight. It's got one that's built in the frame. The finish is not glossy as this one is. Um, but essentially, and then the drag is a slightly different, a little more plastic in some of the components, but it's still a quality, quality reel. The third generation can be bought anywhere from $30 to $50 on eBay, and the second generation is $45 to $70, so well under $100. And, and the Worldwide Sportsman, which is a brand of Bass Pro Shops, they're sold there. Uh, these reels can be purchased online, uh, the auction sites like eBay and, and other places, for 60 to $90. Um, so still, both very, very good values, both with solid drags. So I can show you here. This has got kind of a caliper drag. It, it operates very similar to how your car brakes operate. It's got brake pad on this side and on the underside and you turn this knob here it squeezes the pads together and preventing the drag from operating. It is a full frame reel um, which means you got to be careful when you're taking the spool off and putting it back on that you don't trap um, leader or line in between the spool and the frame. But see, I've got the drag. It's not even max. This is max. It's way too strong. But it does reduce all the way down to almost free spool. It has a click when you're reeling in and a louder Paul type sound outgoing. This drag's a little beefier. It doesn't have the plastic, um, but it's a similar drag, the drag pad on either side and this caliper in the middle. To reverse the direction, in this one you'd have to take these screws out and then pull this entire gear, or take this piece off here, pull the gear out, flip it over, put it back on, and then replace these screws in the piece, and that reverses the the retrieve because it's a one-way gear so to speak. Let me put this back on. So this is kind of an atypical drag. There's not many reels out there that have a drag quite like this. Um, whereas the Worldwide Sportsman is more of a somewhat traditional drawbar drag like you'd see on an Able or a T-Bore uh, Islander, where the drag knob here attaches to a threaded bolt that has a spring on one end and applies pressure against the spool toward the back of the frame. That's exactly what happens here. This is a little different in that typically the drag material touches the, the spool there, whereas we've got, looks like a plastic possibly aluminum, uh, I think it's aluminum, 
piece between the spool and the drag material, which under, is underneath, and it's carbon fiber. To reverse this uh, retrieve direction, there's a little black O-ring here you'd have to take out, and then you can slide the this bearing off, flip it over, put it back on, reattach the O-ring, and you've changed the direction. But I'll show you, it's a one-way bearing. You see how I can spin it this way, and then when I try to twist it backwards, it doesn't work because the bearing only allows movement in one direction. These reels, both were essentially discontinued in the early 2000s. Um, I'm not, this was, uh, I've seen some mat material online about how this was in production right around 2005. I don't know how many years it was produced. Um, both the reels get good reviews online. Um, read people saying they've caught mini tarpon on these reels with no problems. I've caught false albacore on both of these reels, uh, model reels, and uh, without any problem. And just like the System 2, this has a drag that goes from essentially almost, uh, this is essentially free spool to more drag than you'll ever need. And it's very smooth. It's it's smoother than the System 2, but the System 2 is, is smooth enough for, for what you'll need it for. I should also add that these reels sold for close to $200 new. Uh, the Gold Cup sold for about $199 based on the information I saw online, and the uh, System 2 was similar. Um, this The System 2 sold for um, this one, in this case, $190. And I've seen quotes for anywhere uh, from 150 on up to, to 190, 199. So they weren't cheap reels when they were new. Uh, and it's evident by the quality they provide. One more thing I'd like to add is that uh, there is a level of service still available for these reels from the manufacturers. Um, Within the past five to seven years, I've ordered parts from Scientific Anglers, uh, brake pads for the first generation that I don't have of the System 2. Received them uh, free, no charge. They did have to look around for them because they're not, I guess, readily available anymore. And they're certainly not manufacturing them, but they did have some on hand that they were able to find and send me. And for the Gold Cup fly reel, I had mangled up the bearing retaining uh, component trying to reverse it without knowing the proper procedure and they actually had a, a sample or example on hand and they were able to send that to me. I think there was a small charge for that but very reasonable. So just goes to show that if the manufacturer is still around even for some of these older reels that oftentimes you can still get parts for them and keep the reels running as they should be. So there you have it. These are the uh, the two reels I think are some of the best value around for getting into saltwater fly fishing or creating a backup setup where you don't want to spend too much money because you could easily get one of these reels and a, uh, a new rod. I wouldn't recommend a used rod. I've had more problems with used rods than reels and they're not repairable. If you get a, a used rod and don't realize it's got a small longitudinal crack at one of the ferrules uh, it'll eventually break not to mention that the ferrules will never fit together as tightly as you might like and they'll come come apart frequently and also i've run into some situations where as on one of my videos i had two new looking lightly used looking 14 weights that i was using on amberjack and they both broke they were probably 25 year old rods i don't know the history of them don't know if they were stored in a hot garage um don't know anything about them. They, they looked fine. There were no problems when I started fishing with them, but the one rod, one of the rods broke on the first fish, another one broke on the second and third fish. And amberjack are not easy fish, but they're not the, the toughest fish out there compared to some of your, your tuna and uh, billfish that those rods should have been able to, to tackle. Anyways, there you have it. Uh, the System 2 and the Gold Cup fly reels, two of the, the reels I think are the best value on the market, on um, the used market for getting into the saltwater uh, fly fishing hobby. Hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you have any questions or suggestions on other reels that you'd probably throw in this category. I, 
I don't know all the reels out there. I'm not familiar with all the reels out there, but these are two that I'm just amazed at how inexpensively they sell for versus what kind of quality you get from them. The, uh, the gold cup is bar stock, anodized aluminum. The System 2, I believe, is die cast and it has a kind of a silicone finish on it, a uh, little different. Um, but both high quality reels, both will give you decades of service in the salt and uh, you'll catch a lot of fish on them. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it.